Good morning. What is happening? What is going on? What is good? I hope you all are having a great day. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the A Perfect Circle videos and the Meshuggah video. Now it is time, as promised, to bring you all something that I have had to mentally, mentally prepare for. You know what it is, guys. Wings for Mary, part one, and part fucking, this fucking, Wings for Mary, part one, and part two. Uh, a lot of you, when I mentioned that I was going to do part one first and part two second, you all were like, nah, do it in one video. We're doing it in one fucking video, guys. This is going to be a long-ass video. I'm going to try and keep this intro short. Before we get into this, I want a few things. I want you all to fucking subscribe to the channel. I want you to click like. I want at least 100 likes on this video. And I want you guys to destroy that comment fucking section below. Also, guys, I'm selling my prints. If you want my prints, please follow me on Instagram, sign to my DMs, and fucking tell me which print you want, because I am selling them for dirt cheap. They might be a little bit more expensive because most of you guys are in the US, and if you do want them, then I'm going to have to ship them over, which is going to cost a bit more money, but hey-ho, that is how it works, guys. But these are my photographs that I've taken after sleeping in fucking cars, sleeping in the mud, sleeping in the dirt, sleeping in a tent, in the cold, harsh Scottish weather but a lot of love has been put into these prints and if you guys want one or two or three or however many you want please don't hesitate purchase some off of me support that's what it's at guys this is the last song on the 10,000 days album and then we're going to be moving on to another album guys this wings for mary part one so wings for mary parts one and two as well as all of 10,000 days was dedicated to lead singer maynard james keenan's mother judith Mary Gridley. Ah, she passed away three years prior to the release of the album. When Maynard was 11 years old, his mother suffered a brain aneurysm that left her paralyzed for the remainder of her life. Now we know this from the song Judith by A Perfect Circle. Despite her unfortunate condition, she maintained a strong faith in God. Though Maynard would have odds with her views at times, as exemplified in A Perfect Circle's Judith, uh, he espouses in the album's two-part dedication that because of her faith in such a trying episode, she, above all others, is deserving of heaven. That's actually pretty beautiful. The 10,000 days of the album's title refers to the 27 years that Maynard's mother lived after being paralyzed. I'm ready for this, guys. Let's rock and roll. I feel like we are ending a chapter by doing this and opening another one. So... Just before I start this, I want to say thank you very, very, very much. I seriously appreciate you guys' support, subscriptions, likes, comments. I really do appreciate it, guys. Like, I'm being honest here. And I feel like when we hit 10,000 subs, I'm going to fucking cry or something. But uh, I'll do something really cool. I'll do a cool video for 10,000 subs. On, uh, on the way to the gym today, I was just thinking about it. So we'll get it done. But guys, without further ado... We have here Tools, 10,000 Days, Wings for Mary, part one. I like this. This, the intro feels like like a hot, like a like a suspense movie, like the drone shot of the car going into like the field, kind of like the intro of The Shining. Here we go. It's starting. It's very cinematic. I like that, very cinematic. Beautiful intro.
Yeah, that's beautiful. Love the guitars. Love the guitars. Beautiful, beautiful. You can tell this is going to be quite an epic journey. Oh, I'm really fucking digging this, man. This is this is sexy. All right, guys, next part. Let's freaking do this. Make sure you subscribe. I love how it's still got the same kind of, the, the theme as the first part. Exactly the same thing, actually. 11 minutes, baby, we can do this. This is stunning. This is this is very sad, but very beautiful as well. Oh, I can't wait to review this shit. It 
it's just so s s the the drums boof it's so enigmatic religious sounding instrumental of this song is just it's epic that's what it is it's epic sounding love the thunder rumble sound in the back it definitely feels so kind of like this closure armageddon like the end of days man apocalypse that's what it feels like shit so beautiful and I love how it's just like this Whew. it's like something you can just spiritually listen to Spirit. 
it's crazy just thinking about the first part and then the beginning of this one, how mellow it is, and now it's just. Guys, what a journey, what a trip, what a, what a, what's the word? What a fuck? That was a trip. That was an insane 16, 17 minutes of just insanity, man, in the most beautiful way possible. So, right, I've got Wings Part 2 lyrics here, so I'm going to get Wings Part 1, and we're going to go through everything, okay? Uh, right off the bat, though. This song, first and foremost, I know in the album it was like, I think maybe the, the third and fourth song, it should have easily have been the last two songs. The best way to close an album called 10,000 Days. Guys, I don't know what to say about this song. The Before we get to the lyrics, okay, the instrumentation insane I can just imagine like in a kind of cathedral or like a church or just this big religious building this song playing in darkness candles lit up fucking outside it's like thunder lightning raining and this song just playing man Ooh, man it like it does feel like this kind of religious experience you know what I'm talking about guys um, do you guys feel the same way as well when you're listening, especially to the first part? Um, now the reason why I prefer the first part to the second part, and I do, is because the first part was all just like, like, just mellow, chill, like depressing. The second part, yes, I would say maybe 70% of it was that too, but then it escalated and I was just like, they should have kept both of them just like this this morbid sounding, mellow sounding fucking, I don't even want to call it a song, this is something else man, but uh, either way, both of them knocked it out of the park man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do American uh, phrases, so let's go, okay, Wings for Mary part one, you, you believed, you believed in movements none could see. You believed in me. A passionate spirit, uncompromised, boundless and open, a light in your eyes, then immobilized. Clearly talking about his mother here, man. And how about the, then immobilized. Like, so, 
she was free and then she had this light in her eyes and when she became paralyzed she was just that's it no more light anymore in her eyes refrain broken fell at the hands of those movements that i wouldn't see yet it was you who prayed for me so what have i done to be a son to an angel what have i done to be worthy so he's just like what what have i done to um to deserve such a beautiful saint like you. And I do believe in in this song, he's referring to his mother as a saint. I mean, who wouldn't? My mom's a fucking angel, you know what I mean? Um, daylight dims, leaving cold fluorescence. I love that. Oh, difficult to see you in this light. Please forgive the selfish question, but what am I to say to all these ghouls tonight? What does he mean by that? This is highlighted, I wanna... Oh, here, oh, fuck me. So, in genius.com, it's highlighted. If you click that, people have written. He, he, okay. Please forgive the selfish question, but what am I to say to all these ghouls tonight? He is asking how to re, 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 reconcile all his own demons and disbelief in the faithful and how to understand how those of faith are comfortable with their own belief in the afterlife, how can he accept that she believes she will move on to heaven, even though he does not? These conf these conflicts are the ghouls. Please forgive the selfish question, but what am I to say to all these conflicts tonight? These ghouls tonight. She never told a lie. Well, might have told a lie, but never lived one. So, he says... She's never told a lie. Well, she might have told a lie, but she's never lived a lie. Didn't have a life. Didn't have a life, but surely saved one. See, I'm all right. See, I'm all right. Now it's time for us to let you go. Oh. oh. I love the see, I'm all right. This is a mess. Guys, I'm getting shivers. <clears throat> this is a message from Maynard to his mother that he has gotten through her death. He is showing her that her love has enabled him to live life and to grow as a person. Jesus. All right, moving on to Wings Part 2 now. Here we go. Listen to the tales and romanticize how we'd follow the path of the hero. Now, this, this Part 2, I'm like... He's swaying a little bit away from like talking about his mother. So I want to know what he's talking about here. Boast about the day when the river is overrun. How we rise to the height of our halo. The line refers to the biblical judgment day. The overrunning of rivers or flooding. Is that tsunami? Refers to flood. Refers to flood myths that are prevalent not only in the Bible but in many cultures and religions as images of total destruction. Maynard criticizes self-righteousness and arrogance in the face of immense destruction by supposing that we boast about how we shall rise to the height of our halo or ascend to heaven for our divine reward at the end of days. Listen to the tales and romanticize. Okay, so he is talking about like what happens after death. Listen to the tales and romanticize about uh, how we'd follow the path of our hero. So now we're boasting about Judgment Day and how we will rise up. Listen to the tales as we all rationalize our way into the arms of our Savior. Fiending all the trials and the tribulations, none of us have actually been there, not like you. So... These lyrics in particular are talking about how members of churches try and rationalize and imagine the trials that one may go through or have gone through according to the Bible. When Maynard was 11, his mother Judith Mary... Okay, okay, just keep going. Um, okay, so this line basically is like... So this is why Maynard is claiming that she has actually been through the trials and tribulations because of her pain and suffering. So it's like, okay, fuck, I don't know. Okay, 
Fuck it, we'll go into the next verse. Guys, the bits I don't understand, you can help me out here, okay? Ignorant fibbers in the congression gather around, spewing sympathy, spare me. I love that. None of them can even hold a candle up to you. Blinded by choice, these hypocrites won't see. But enough about the collective Judas, who could deny you were the one who illuminated your little piece of the divine. And this little light of mine, a gift you passed on to me, I'm going to let it shine to guide you safely on your way, your way home. Oh man, shit. Fuck, this guy can write. Oh, what are they going to do when the lights go down without you to guide them all to Zion? What are the Zion, Zion? What are they going to do when the rivers overrun other than tremble incessantly? High is the way, but all eyes are upon the ground. You are the light and the way they'll only read about. I only pray heaven knows when to lift you out. 10,000 days in the fire is long enough. You're going home. So 10,000 days of her suffering being immobilized is long enough. You're now going to die and go to where you want to go. You are the only one who can hold your head up high. Shake your fist at the gate saying, I've come home now. Fetch me the spirit, the son and the father. Tell them their pillar of faith has ascended. Oh, it's time now, my time now. Give me my, give me my wings. So she, he's saying, you're there now? Fucking insist. Tell them it's my time now. I want in. Oh, man. So the last bit here, guys. Set as I am in my ways and my arrogance with the burden of proof tossed upon the believers, you are my witness, my eyes, my evidence, Judith Marie, unconditional one. Daylight dims, leaving cold fluorescence, difficult. I feel like we're in poetry club or some shit. The daylight dims, leaving cold fluorescence, difficult to see you in, the, in, the, in this light. I love this part now here. This part really got me. Please forgive this bold suggestion, but should you see your maker's face tonight, look him in the eye, look him in the eye and tell him, I never lived a lie, never took a life, but surely saved one. Hallelujah. It's time for you to bring me home. Fuck. Oh, guys, this is intense. This is very intense because he's, he's basically written what he wants his mother to say to God when he meets, when, when his mother meets God. Guys, that is insane. Like, in my opinion, <laughs> it, it, Maynard here seems to have this, this heavy weight, this, this power, you know, like almost, almost the same kind of power as God, because he's kind of like saying, I don't believe in him, but if he's real and you see him, you fucking tell him I'm like, I'm here now. I'm here waiting to be let in. Guys, this last part here is just, it gets me. Look him in the, should you see your maker's face tonight? Look him in the eye, look him in the eye and tell him, I never lived a lie, never took a life, but surely saved one. I basically like, I'm a sin. Uh, I'm a sin. I'm a saint. You have to let me in. Hallelujah, it's time for you to bring me home. Guys, oh my God, I'm tripping shit right now. I'm closing this shit, guys. Fuck. Guys, that is insane. This, guys, this entire album, see, listening to the song, it gives such a good, like, kind of, um, what's the word, like, it gives like a very good idea of what the actual album sounds like. It, this so, These two songs are super fucking heavy, but like it's just intensely beautiful, you know what I mean? Wow. Wow, man. Imagine if like his mother fucking listens to these two songs. She would just be like, damn, dude, my kid is talented. Guys, it is no, it is no fucking, it's a fact that 
this Maynard singer is a talented writer from like the, this album that I've just re fucking reviewed and reacted to. And his writing is insanely epic, man. Especially this song. Fucking epic. I have no words to say, man. <laughs> this song. No, this album. 100 out of 10. 1 million out of 10. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to react to the next stuff, guys. Let's see what else we have. Let me just check if this is still recording. Man, this is sweaty. So, next up, guys, we have the album. You guys have been requesting me a lot of songs from a specific album. Um, I think the album is Anima, actually, which you guys have been asking me to react to. Let me just see here. Where is the albums? Okay, so we're meant to be doing Lateralist next, right? Um, but a lot of you guys have asked me to do songs from anima so i think we might just do that so we might just go to anima guys so yeah um i'm going to chill now because that was very heavy that was very emotional as well actually man that was very emotional because death is just a very emotional thing and then when you have someone saying like you know what i don't even believe in the afterlife but if it's true you tell god that you have to be led and that's fucking powerful shit dude that's heavy. Um, so yeah, guys, that is it. We are fucking done with this album. Um, please, for the love of God, fucking subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, por favor. Um, and yeah, if you want to buy my prints, please do so. Um, yeah, I've got PayPal and shit now, so we can make shit easy. If not, it's all good, guys, you know. Uh, a subscribe will make me more than happy. Uh, in the meantime, guys, have a great, fantastic, beautiful day. We're going to be back tomorrow with a new reaction video. What the fuck was that? Peace. <laughs>